Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we saw creating these beautiful types of buttons using the material design bootstrap. Now in this section we are going to talk about cards in the material design bootstrap library. So there are a lot of beautiful options that we have for cards as well. Uh, these are a few basic examples that we'll be having a look into. So I'm just going to quickly create a component for that uh, that would host all these cards. So I'll create a component named cards like so and then I'm going to update my um, app routing module for the routes. These would be the cards and cards component that needs to be imported from its respective path here and then I'm gonna also add the header uh, I mean the link to the headers file for that and uh, let me just change this to cards like so S let's save this and go back to the application so we have the cards as well now it just says cards work but now I'm going to just copy the markup for this particular card right here. So let's copy that. And this is the basic example for basic card. So I'll close all of these other files and I'll open the cards components markup here. And I'm going to type in basic card and paste this template here let's see so we have this whole um, UI getting um, the whole width of this card but then again that is something that can be fixed in uh, CSS so that can be done apart from that we also have this wave effect for a card so let's just quickly copy the markup for that I'm just gonna start copying it from here like so and uh, let's save this then I have another h3 that says wave effect and I'm gonna paste this markup for the wave effect in here and if I hover over this then I should see it getting ready in here again now this is something that's a bit misaligned with the uh, markup that we saw here but again that is something that can be fixed using CSS so uh, I would leave you guys to that then we have some um, cascading cards like so but then again these are uh, a part of the pro version of this uh, material design bootstrap so we won't really be able to use it but then we have cascading panels like so uh, let's just copy that and see that in action I'll copy and I'll inside an h3 tag I'll type in um, cascading panels let's paste the markup here and if I go at the bottom then I should see these cascading panels again um, there might be reasons wherein um, the style is not getting applied but again that is something that can be fixed using CSS and then apart from that there are some other types of uh, <clears throat> Other, other types of cards that can be used as well so this is the re reversed cascade card that can be used again let's copy the markup for this and I'll paste it here reversed cascade let's save this and go back so I should now see a card for that and again this looks a bit similar to the one that we have here with just the issues with this uh, uh, this card that we have here uh, under the image it's not a bit aligned with it but again that is something that can be fixed 
using CSS. Then we have the action button footer as well, wherein we have some action buttons as well to the card. Uh, but then again, that comes as a part of the Bootstrap's uh, Pro version, so we won't be able to use it. Then we have these stylish cards wherein we can change the color in as well uh, for the dark version and light version like so. And we have the testimonial cards that again come as a part of the Pro package for Material Design Bootstrap and the image overlays as well. So these are all the other types of uh, cards, uh, but even the cards that come uh, for free are uh, pretty beautiful, I guess. So that is something that can be used as a part of uh, your application's um, view. So that was it regarding cards. In the next section, we are going to talk about drop downs, inputs and forms as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video.